Drivers, start your engines. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora Trixus Truck Series Season 3, race number 24 from Iowa. This is the final race of the Elite 8. After today, it will be the season finale and with the final four. Before that, though, we got to do the LCQ. On pole, you have Karen Justice and Patrick Smith, Keegan Alsup and Ravnik Cower, Hassan Oven and Greg Lee, Corey Serrano and Anders Kilmere. Someone didn't get going. And you got Dave Anderson, Evan Rudd, Lego Logano, Riley Spurley, Dylan Pulowski, Ray Lindor, and Matt Swanson. And Race Carlin's probably not going to advance unless it's just something minor they could fix up really quickly. 13 laps from Iowa. All three series are from a short oval this week, but none at the same track. Son of and looking to make it a three wide on Keegan. Also, and Patrick Smith, there's contact between the 16 and the 98. They're almost four wide. Oh, Keegan's into the wall. Patrick Smith, Ravney Cowers involved. Big, big damage to that 16 car. No caution, though. Everyone did survive. Corey Serrano's going to move up to second here on the inside of, uh, on the inside of Hassan Oven. Still no con or caution. Three wide in the back. I'm not sure what place this is for. Greg Lee, Patrick Smith are going to squeeze into the wall once. It's going to happen again. Greg Lee's going to get damaged. Hassan Oven, man. That's some deja vu right there. Karen Justice is in the lead still. Hassan Oven got back past Corey Serrano. Looks like he clips the wall coming at turn number four as he falls all the way down to third. Top seven advances like always. Looks like Keegan also is in the final transfer spot. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Yes, I believe he is. Uh, Dave Anderson's in the final transfer spot now. That's Keegan's teammate, so I guess that was close. Man, big damage to Ravnik Cower. And she's taking it to pit road. Hassan Oven is reeling in Karen Justice pretty quickly, it looks like. I say that as uh, she loses a little bit of time. Evan Rudd to the inside of Corey Serrano. Might make a little contact here. Oh, he's going to almost turn him. Oh, he's still hitting him. Caution is out there racing back. Oof. That was, uh, that was quite sketchy. Karen Justice is your leader. We'll be right back to see what just happened. Looks like Patrick Smith isn't on the receiving end of this for once here. And he's going to kind of squeeze Matt Swanson up into the wall. It is going to turn Patrick Smith, though. That is the caution. We'll be back for the restart. Here we go. Coming to the green lap 10 of 13. Four to go. Race Carlin's race was over before it even started as uh, he lost a piston. Ravnik Howard DNF due to damage sustained, uh, not from a caution, but from a little incident on track. And Keegan also, who was running almost, I think he was running fifth, uh, lost a header. So, tough break for the driver of the 16 Tundra. Four to go, though. The final transfer spot as they go green belongs to the 32 of Ray Lindor. They're already three wide for third. Oh, I don't see this ending up well. Off turn number four. Nearly four wide. They are going to go four wide. And somehow no one hits the wall until they get onto the straightaway, that is. Anders Kalmier is taking over the final transfer spot. Now he's going to be comfortably in as he's almost up to fifth. He's up into fourth now. Hmm. Oh, Lego Logano overdrove the entry to turn three. Oh, this is some good racing. Dylan Pulowski in that RSS racing car up to the lead. Or truck, I mean. Two laps to go here at Iowa. Oh, this is fantastic racing. There's no way it keeps up, though. Of course, we're on that pink 30 is in the final transfer position, it looks like. No, he's not. I, don't, I think I think now he might be. Yeah, yeah, he had to get past the 18. Karen Justice, who dominated this race, is out looking in. Four wide off turn number two. Oof. Oh, Lego Logano gets turned around. Oh, tough break for Corey Serrano, uh, Dylan Pulowski, Karen Justice. But coming off turn number four. Oh, caution was already out, it looks like. Uh, Ray Lindor was going to lead one lap and steal the win. Wow. 
We'll be right back to look at the finish and both crashes. All right, that's a lie. There wasn't two crashes. The 26 just never got going again. It's, there he is right here, just ran right into the back end of the 39. And now let's go take a look at the finish since we didn't get to see it. Ray Lindor is going to win comfortably over Hassan Oven. We'll be back to look at your official results. All right, Ray Lindor, your winning photos up on the top right. Your official transferees go. Ray Lindor with the win. Then you got Hassan Oven second. Evan Rudd third. Andrew Kelmier fourth. Patrick Smith fifth. Riley Spurley sixth. And Dylan Pulowski does indeed get the final transfer position. Those we will see next week for the final race of the season. You got Dave Anderson, Corey Serrano, Lego Logano, Karen Justice, Greg Lee, Matt Swanson, Keegan Alsup, Ravnik Hauer, and Ray's Carlin. We'll be back for the Bora Traxxas Truck Series Season 3, race number 24 from Iowa. Drivers, start your engines! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora Traxxas Truck Series Season 3, race 24 from Iowa. This is the final race of the Elite Eight. After today, four drivers will be eliminated from the chase, and only four will be left heading into the season finale. On pole, you have Chaser, Tammy Durek, and Lucas Tomsick. Then you got Cynthia Bright and Chaser Wolfgang Scholz. Chaser Jason Larker and Chaser Ryan Spangler. Uh, Chaser Otto Belmont and Landon Finway. Uh, then you got David Street, he's also a Chaser. It's not a very long race, 25 laps from Iowa, 42 trucks, there's probably gonna be a couple cautions, so you better hope you get to the front and fast. Ooh, only, okay, I didn't see the 60 at the bottom, but hey, only 41 took the green. Oh, there they go already. That's a weird place to wreck. Oh, Keith Stevens is in it, Chaser. Oh, this is a big one. Oh, nuts. Keith Stevens came into today, seventh and points, 37 back, basically a must win. So, did they already cross the line? They did. We're right back, look at your, uh, yeah, we're right back, see what just happened. We're going to keep the camera on Keith Stevens, but the cause of the crash happens between the 83, the 31, and the 66 here off turn number two. Looks like Keith kind of hooks the 31 of Kevin Serrano, and then kind of gets instant karma for it. Oof, that's rough. Especially on lap one, you don't want to see a pile up like that on lap one. Who else? Um, I don't really know if anyone on the bottom kind of got involved. We'll watch from Tommy Kesey, TV2 if we got him. Tommy obviously won at Talladega the last time out, so he's locked in the homestead irregardless of what happens. And he gets through that wreck pretty pretty easily. We'll be back for the restart. All right, Keith Stevens and Dade Honeywell are both a lap down. Coming into today, though, your chasers. Uh, Tammy Dirk, who's currently leading, was 6th and point, 16 back. David Strait, who is, I don't even know where he's at. He's top five, right? He's 6th. He's dominated the season in points, but he's currently fifth, six points out. Those who are currently good, uh, Tommy Kesey with a win. Wolfgang Scholz, plus 21. Jason Larker, plus 16. And Otto Belmont, plus 6. Jason Larker starting third. And Dade Honeywell and Keith Stevens just got their laps back. I don't know what's going on here. The 19, did they jump it? They must have jumped it. Jason Larker, who's third in points, moving up into second. Ooh, major frame rate. What is going on? I right, started the recording. That was weird. Oh, I'm hearing a wreck. I'm getting some bad frame rate, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Keith Stevens, though, falling a lap down again. Oh, David Strait, Ryan Spangler both need good points today. And David Strait's going to get nosed into the wall. Pretty good damage to that right front. Luckily for him, caution is out. And we'll be right back to see what just happened. Looks like uh, the 53's got some rear end damage. So this was a long wreck. Luke Airbeline for KC Motorsports. Just everyone's hitting each other. They're kind of like stuck together. He gets turned. Gunner Cook with some pretty massive damage. Patrick Smith, who just couldn't catch a break in the LCQ. He's in it. I think that's his fourth wreck of the, uh, the video. So that's basically it. That's brought the caution. And we'll be back to see the restart. Here we go. Gunner Cook has DNF'd. Keith Stevens did fall a lap down again. His teammate said his mail is also a lap down. Um, Ryan Spangler, who's currently fourth, came into today 40 points back, basically putting him in a must win. I mean, mathematically, he could point his way in, but that'd be almost. It'd be hard. It would be really hard. Um, Wolfgang Scholz, plus 21. He is currently running in fifth. Otto Belmont, who's plus sixth, is currently running sixth. 
Jason Larker, who's plus 16, is running second. So, and Tommy Kesey, who's already got a win, so it doesn't matter where he finishes. Yeah, he's back in 33rd, just living his life. Jason Larker wants going to Homestead with some momentum, though. Going for the lead on Tammy Durick, who's not in a must-win. She's only 16 back. Which, obviously, is a lot more than she'd want to be, but it's not even close to being a must-win. And she will fall to third here off turn number two. As Jason Larker gets a bonus point for leading the lap. That's going to be pretty big for him. Like I said, only 16 to the good. Tammy Durick is 16 out, ironically. Uh, there's And they're not even fourth and fifth. They're third and fifth, so... Funny how that worked out. Lucas Thompson could get eliminated in the first round of the chase. Taking the lead, Otto Belmont, who's only plus six to the good. Moving up to third, David Strait, who's six back. Here he comes. Caution's out. Yeah, ca caution's out. Damn, Patrick Smith, his fifth incident of the uh, video. Holy cow. Iowa's not been kind to old Patrick Smith. But Lucas Thompson's not going to care. He's going to move. Or he's going to lead them back. And that was a close call between the 3, the 15, and the 17, man. We'll be back to see what just happened. All right, Dylan Starr running in 25th. Oops. Oh, he's going to get hooked by Ray Lindor. Hard hit. Cody Duncan. Oof. Okay, Patrick Smith really didn't get involved. Oh, he, yep, there it is. Now, I saw Cody Duncan having problems off turn two. I thought it might have been a separate crash, but... I don't really know. Unless he was just waiting on the pace car. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, interesting. All right, we'll go back to the restart. And now, with Dylan Pulowski and Cody Duncan out, this basically puts Ryan Spangler in a must win. As uh, it'd be impossible for the top four to finish that bad and him point his way in, being 40 out. That's only seven points to work with, and it's impossible for him to lead the most laps now. So, that's one bonus point gone. So, the most he could possibly score is 46. So, the points would work. Uh, those three having a bad race, it just it wouldn't be possible. So, Cody Duncan, or not Cody Duncan, Ryan Spangler in the 33. He's running eighth. Must win situation. We saw Burt Ford deal with that in the Premier Series at the end of the round two. And he won at the Bristol Dirt Track. So, it's entirely possible. With Chase was running second, third, fourth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Here with seven laps to go. Lucas Tomsic, though, trying to play spoiler. Non-chaser leading. Got teammates running second and third. Battling for second and third. Couple chasers. Oh, man. Oh, four wide. Oh, four wide. Oh, Jacob Letali. Justin Flood. Oh, that's a big one. Hard hit. Oof. Caution is out. There's going to be six to go. Will we get a restart in? Let's find out. We'll be right back see what just happened. All right. The potential race ending caution. Uh, watch the OA to Jacob Vitale. He just keeps getting beat up. Beat around. Oof. Oh, man. Dag Frisk. Really hard hitting that 52. Justin Flood. Nothing he could have done there. We'll be back for the restart if there is one. And we're going to have ourselves a green, white, checkered. <laughs> excuse me, here. And the penultimate race of the Traxxas Truck Series season. Oof. Only Robert Stone DNF'd. <laughs> excuse me. Only Robert Stone DNF'd off that, uh. Off that, he wasn't even involved in the crash. He just lost a gearbox. Two to go. Lucas Thompson going for his second win of the season, second of his career. Uh, Jason Larker, who, uh, if he finished second, he's locked into home city regardless. Green flag is out. He's going to jump to the outside of the 21. Will they complete this race under green? They just got to complete one lap, and it's a for sure deal. William Stone, he's not in the chase. He's just going for it. He's all over the 17. The 17 gets below the 21. Three wide. Oh, boy. Jason Larker's going for it, man. This race is going to end under green. White flag is out. Jason Larker's in the wall. Otto Velmont. Ooh, a couple chasers going three wide. Otto Velmont going for the lead past William Stone. Oh, Jason Larker gets turned around. Huge championship implications. Coming off turn number four, though, Otto Velmont is going to win again. Wow. That's his fourth win 
in nine races. Otto Velmont is going to Homestead. And who knows who else? Did David Strait just go? Did, did he just? I don't know. Wow. What a finish. We're going to go back and watch that last lap again. That was insanity. We'll be right back. We're going to watch this last lap on board. David Strait, who might have just pointed his way in at the last possible second. I'm not quite sure yet. I don't have the live points. White flag is out right here. He's three wide with a couple chasers. He also has Tammy Dirk right behind him. It's not looking good for him here. He's losing a ton of positions. Jason Larker gets turned around. Ryan Spengler gets some pretty good damage. Coming off turn number four, man. What a finish. We'll be back to look at your official results. All right, your official top 10 goes as followed. You got Otto Velmont with the win. Then you got William Stone second. Atlanta Finn with third. Wolfgang Schultz in fourth. Congratulations, you're going to Homestead. Ryan Spangler fifth. Uh, that's not going to be good enough. He was basically must win at the end. David Strait sixth. I'm not sure if that was good enough yet. Carter Fries in seventh. Evan Rudd eighth. How about that? Andrews Cumbier ninth. And Xavier Irons, who got turned around on lap one. Rebounds for a 10th place finish. Notables outside the top 10. Your Talladega winner, Tommy Kesey getting thir uh, 13th. Almost at 88th. Um... Jason Larker, 18th. Man, where are the other chase drivers? Tammy Durek, 30th. Oh, man, that might not... I don't, that's definitely not going to be good enough. Um, Keith Stevens, 36th. Unfortunately, he isn't going to make it either. So, with that, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that there was such a long gap between races. Uh, September was actually hell for me in terms of adulting, but... Uh, today will be trucks, obviously. Tomorrow, amateur. Tuesday, premiere. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday will end the 2018 season of Bora. I say 2018. Next season might actually begin in like November, December. I don't even know when it's going to be because it's already October, basically. So, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Congratulations, Auto Belmont. Dude has been on fire this uh, chase. Um, yeah. Congrats to those who made it to Homestead. Unfortunate for those who didn't. And trucks, you have one race left. Let's end it on a high note. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Ow. <laughs>